with my program, um, when parents come in, the most common complaint they have about all the different activities or therapies or programs that they've tried is that they didn't really see any change. Um, and I tell them that when they start doing the Melilla method, when they start doing my program, they're going to see change. And the change is pretty dramatic. Uh, but sometimes it can also be confusing. It can be scary. Um, they might see behavioral changes in their child that are difficult. It might make their life harder for a little while. And so I wanted to explain this to parents so that they could be prepared from the moment they started doing this. Because sometimes from day one, we see dramatic changes in the child. So this book, Reconnected Kids, was the second book that I wrote for parents to be able to prepare them and say, this is what you're probably going to see and this is why it's happening. Um, over and over, I would get questions from parents. This is happening. You know, is that good? Is it bad? So they're seeing change, which is what we said we wanted, but they're not always sure if it's good or if it's bad. There's a couple of different things that can happen. One is the right brain, for instance, governs a lot of what we look at as negative behaviors, things like sadness, fear, disgust, shame, embarrassment, guilt. So if a child starts in fe uh, having fear all of a sudden, um, parents get concerned. If they start getting sad when they never did and they start crying, parent can be concerned. Um, if they start showing embarrassment or feeling guilty about things, they may never have experienced these things before, but now they do. And that is a good thing. We need to be able to prepare parents for it uh, because it may be somewhat counterintuitive. So this book goes through what to expect. Um, there may be things like regressions that appear where things they did before suddenly come out. That's very important because as new areas of the brain and the nervous system are growing, they may temporarily take away energy from other areas that have already developed. This is typical in child development. What we see is when children start to have language, they often lose fine motor skill for a while. This is typical as they go through growth spurts in the first five years especially. So we want to prepare parents when there is a growth spurt. We have, it's not unusual as some kids that as, they're, as they start getting language or eye contact or other types of advanced skills start to emerge, they may start wetting the bed again. Um, and to parents, this looks bad, but it's not. It's very good, actually. It's a very good sign. And eventually, in a short period of time, usually three or four weeks, they cycle through that and may go on to new changes. The point is, they came to us so that we can create change, and this is what we're doing. Um, in here, we also give you ways to track it so that you know what's normal milestones in cognitive and emotional development, in physical development, and in language development. How many words should they speak at a certain point? It's almost like an instruction manual for children, which is very, very important. And we also give you ways to manage it, to be able to work together as a family, and to be able to manage these changes as they come about. And this book is really one of the most valuable tools you'll have, and we give this to parents uh, from day one. So if you really are starting the program, you really should read this book to be able to understand what to expect and what you can do about it and what it means.